Today we're going to be installing a new water filter. Frizz Life is what I chose. I will give it a long-term review to see how it works. Anyway, it looks like this. Installation guide. So we'll quickly go through that. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to install it there. I'm going to get the ends in. I'm not going to screw it in. I'm just going to leave it sit there. It can't really fall once it's in. Okay, here's my cold water. On this side over here is the hot water. So I already have the adapter where it says supply. And I need this end because that screws into the end I already got there. All right, it's even written on here. Inlet. And then this says stainless steel water hose. And it says outlet. Okay, stretch that out. And then we screw it in. And then I'll get a wrench and just tighten it up. You don't have to over tighten it because... For one, it's a plastic housing, and it's got a rubber gasket inside. Of course, we'll check for leaks afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to turn my water off, drain it down, and then unhook it down there. I'll bring a bucket down, so it's going to look like this. Now, years ago, I changed both of these two uh, shutoffs. They just go sideways like that, a quarter turn, and it's shut off. And stainless steel ball valve, best ones to put in. Anyway, they're soldered in. Okay, water's turned off. Get my little wrench. Oh, what is it? This is 5.8. Okay, away from the camera. Camera's kind of in my way and I'm going to have to block it. I'm going to get this up there and see how I'm going to adjust all the hoses. So, bear with me. So, let's just tighten this up. I'm going to need two hands to hold it in place. Okay, I found it easier to sit this way. So, I grab just not hard, very, very light on this. We've already tightened it up and I just, okay, just snugged it up there and I just stopped this hose from twisting. And like I said, you don't grab these very tight or you're going to ruin it, the line right here. Okay, so I opened their little kit and they have Teflon tape, three screws to mount the bracket, but I'm just going to set it up there. I don't need it. And they have adapters to adapt to certain things. Anyway, uh, none of these adapters are going to do what I needed to do. Essentially, I need two of these cables, two of these hoses, because my faucet up top takes an end like this, and the hose they gave me has an end like this. So, screwing into here, but unfortunately, the, my original hose, the rubber gasket inside was torn, and it leaks, so it was no good. I bought just a short one of these, which I'll attach to here, and then I can attach that up to there. Okay, back up. Okay, I got it. Alright, that's tight. So, let's get this up in place. It's gonna go there. And that's gonna go here. Okay. Can you put behind yes, it? Yes, but I'm gonna gotta tighten it up first. I just wanted to make sure it's gonna fit. And then come down so I can change my filter. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's tighten it up. Okay, then we'll screw that in there. Okay, we'll try that, see how it goes. So we get this up here. Okay, so it's running right now. I have no leaks. And that's how it's going to be hooked up. Unfortunately, I wish it would have sent the proper stuff to do this so I wouldn't have to run. Anyway, we'll shut the water off now and just check for leaks. Anyway, I had set it up here and after it's been there for, it was there for about maybe 20 minutes and I opened it up and said, oh, it's wet underneath. I said, oh, maybe I didn't dry it. So, I moved it down here, I dried it all up again, put everything back up there, put the filter back up, another hour later I opened it, there's wet again. I said, okay, no, it's, it's gotta be leaking. Basically, I took this part off the main housing, then I took the uh, tool, and I unscrewed the filter, try to reseat the filter, and I'm still having a leak, you can see it right here. So I've done it twice already, and I can't get this case to uh, seal on the filter or whatever, so, I'll get a hold of the manufacturer, see what they say, and probably just uh, send it back and try to get another one. I got in contact with them through uh, Amazon, and they sent me out. I'd asked for uh, just a whole new unit because I didn't know where it was leaking. And they sent me this. 
Okay, so they didn't send me a whole thing. They just sent me the filter and the uh, lower housing. So hopefully the leak is not in the top housing. Turn the cold water off. I don't necessarily have to because apparently you're supposed to be able to disconnect this and this has an automatic shut off, but there's a lot of pressure in there and I don't want to do that. There. Okay, we're completely off. So I put this in the bottom to see if it was easier to see if it was leaking, but it leaked way beyond that. So if I didn't check this, that would have been bad. So that's how much water I actually got in four days. That would have done some major damage inside my cupboard if I didn't notice it was leaking. So it's always important anytime you do any work with the, uh, under your sink, with water, filters, anything, always check it a few times. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Okay, here's a, the new one they sent me. I'm going to put that aside for now. Here's the old one. I don't know if it was leaking here or leaking at the filter. So I don't know what was leaking. It was the lower housing or it was the filter. So I'm going to find out. Or it's the top half. We don't know. If it's the top half, I'm just going to send the whole thing back. So they send you this tool to take it off and you're supposed to twist it. It's almost... You're going to notice next to impossible to try to take this and unscrew it. These, I found the easiest way to possibly get this off is make sure you're going counterclockwise. That'd be clockwise this way, counterclockwise here. And just grab the filter with two hands, press it up against the countertop and just twist. And then once you get it started, then you can take it out. So like I said, I don't know if the leak was this, this O-ring or these O-rings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to take this filter off. I'm going to put this one in here and I'm going to hook it back up to see if the leak was a filter. And if that still leaks, then I'm going to put the new filter back into this lower housing. And if it still leaks, obviously it's the top and I'm going to send the whole thing back. I could just screw that in, but it's not going to tell me where the leak was. I need to know exactly what was leaking. So again, Put your tool in, put that over here. Grab two hands and twist it. Why that's, you can see that, yeah, well that's pinned against the counter. That's basically the only easy way to take this filter off. Don't grab the wrench, just grab the housing. So we're gonna find out what was leaking. So here's the new base with the original filter. Okay, that's tight. Okay, let's screw this back in. <clears throat> okay, that's locked in. And what we're gonna do is get this dried off. I'm gonna put this back on here and see if we still have a leak. Okay, because it's the old filter I still have in here with a new base. I don't have to do the three to five minute run, but I'm just going to get the uh, air out of the system by just running it up a bit. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to dry this off really good, put this filter back in there and seal off the top. It's been a little over a week. I had it sitting in here and I'll show you if it leaked or not. I'll show you inside the bucket. Okay, so anyway, like I say, it's been here over a week and I've got absolutely nothing. So, just by changing the base and putting the old filter back in, it stopped the leak. The new filter they sent is still in here, which I, it's actually taped all around here, plastic around there, plus plastic in there. Anyway, so I'm going to leave that in here until next year when it's due to be replaced again. And if you subscribe to the channel, what I'm going to do is in a year time, when it's time to change, put that new filter in and take this one out, I'm going to cut it open and show you what's in there. Anyway. If you liked the video, appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.